Hi, welcome to Adventurers. It's great to see you again. I hope you're all keeping safe and that you're all keeping well. How have you got on this week with uh, being at home and doing your online learning? It's been quite a challenge, hasn't it, for lots and lots of different people. But I hope you've uh, you've learned lots and that you've enjoyed your time. As you can see, I'm I'm not quite where at home am I? You see, I've been kicked out. The um all the different rooms are being used for different things, so I've had to come outside. But it's, it's raining, so I can't actually go outside and so I'm sat in the car but there we go maybe later on I'll be able to find a little space which is a bit more comfortable but we're going to start here and so thank you very much for sending through all the different things that you've done it's been great to see so thank you for doing that I even remembered to send your puddle sheets so that you can see where you've got to so hopefully some of you will be going zoom to the next puddle and when I get out of the car I'll have to avoid trying to get into a puddle too because I won't get a prize I'll just get a wet leg but there we go but so are you ready for another exciting week in adventures now where are we going to begin I think we're going to do a Benny song do you think that's a good idea? Yes! Can you see? Did the pig make it with me? Did he come? Can you see him? You can, can you? Oh, superb. Yes, he's come with me. I don't quite know how he managed to get in the car, but he did. So let's just see where we go from here. Are you ready? The trouble is, I forgot my penny, so I'm having to pretend, look, I've got one of these little things that you put in the shopping trolley. Can you see? Ooh. And so I'm going to use that today. I'll have to put a proper penny in later. So are you ready to sing? Do you see this penny? It is brought by me for the little children far across the sea. Harry Penny, quickly though you are so small, help to tell the children Jesus loves them all. The little pig's gone here, must be feeling a bit cold in the car. But we're going to warm up as we talk to God because he's the one that hears us, isn't he? And listens to us when we pray. So let's put our hands together and let's pray. Pray. Our Father, we just thank you for keeping us this last week. Thank you for helping us in all the different things that we've done at school or at home. And our Father, we just pray that you might just help us to think about what the Bible says this morning. Thank you that your word is true and that we can listen to it. Pray too for the children, particularly in Myanmar, that you'll just be with them and watch over them and keep them and provide all that they need, we pray. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's see whether I can find somewhere better for the story. Make yourself feel comfortable. Get yourself a drink. Get yourself a snack. Whatever you need. It's coming now. I found a spot. So are you ready to go? Well, I've got a question for you first. Is When you go on holiday or when you do something special do you kind of have um keep something to remind you of what you've done some people take lots of photos when they perhaps when they go on holiday or when they have a special birthday party other people collect all sorts of different things so that they can remind themselves about something that has really happened now, one of the things I have started to do a little bit is to collect. Well, have a look at this. One of the things I've started to collect is T-shirts of places that I've been. Can you see what's on this one? It reminds me when I wear this T-shirt of the holiday that I had by the Giant's Causeway 
in Northern Ireland. I've got this one, which reminds me of a trip that I went to when I went to Zambia about 18, well, nearly two years ago. So I have this teacher, and every time I wear it, I think about the time that I had there and the hospitals that I visited and the clinics that I visited and the different people that I met. We're thinking about Samuel, aren't we? A man called Samuel who was a special person because he was the person that God used to speak to his people. We did, and we've seen how special his birth was and how God used him to tell Eli, the bad, who was the priest at the time, some bad news. And God continued to speak to the people of Israel through Samuel. But the people sometimes listened to him and sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they did what he said. Sometimes they went off and did their own thing. And often they found themselves being attacked by their enemies. They would come in and they would attack them and defeat them. And it would go, and then they would be set free again. And so battles and forth, battles and forth. And one time, they were really struggling because they could see the Philistines. That was their big enemies at the time, who were going to come and get them. And um, and they were scared. They didn't know what to do. So they thought, let's go and talk to who? Samuel. That's right, because Samuel was known as the man of God. So they went to talk to Samuel. And what do you think Samuel did? You've got it. He prayed. Samuel spoke to God and asked God to help rescue the people. And that's what Samuel told the people. And then they could see the Philistines coming all around them, coming to them, wondering what on earth was going to happen. And as they got closer and closer, the people got scareder and scareder. And suddenly there was a big clap of thunder. It wasn't just one clap like that. It went on for a little while. And it was so loud that the Philistines got so scared, phew, they ran away. And the people of Israel were saved from the Philistines because God heard Samuel praying and God answered and rescued his people. And Samuel said to the, uh, the people, what I want you to do is we're going to set up a stone. And we're going to put this stone in the place here. And this stone is going to remind you that God helped you. It would be a bit like this stone here that you can, some of you may have seen in the town gardens. This is a stone that's there to remind us of people who gave their lives during the world wars to make sure that in our country we're free and that we're able to do the things that we want to do and we're not ruled by a dictator. And Samuel set this stone up so that the people of Israel would remember that God helps them and that God is with them. And when they cry out to God for help, God helps them. Because so often they forget. And so often we forget too, don't we? And we need to be reminded that God helps us. And that's why we do lots of different things in church. One of the ones is that we take communion, or they sometimes call it the Lord's Supper, where we take some bread and some drink to remind us that Jesus died for us. And that's a bit like this stone that the people of Israel had. And because we forget, don't we, sometimes what Jesus has done for us, how he came and how he died on a cross so that we can be forgiven for all the wrong things that we do and all the bad things that we say and even all the horrible thoughts that we have. And we need to be reminded that we can cry out to God and he will help us. He might not save us in the same way that God saved the Israelites from the Philistines then, but God will help us in whatever situation that we are in. 
Now Samuel was a man that all the people knew about because Samuel used to go around the whole of Israel every year and visit lots of different places and talk to them about what God was saying. And he would do things to worship God and help the people to worship God as they should. But one day the people came up to Samuel and they said to him, Samuel, you're getting old. A bit like me really, isn't it? Getting old. And what are we going to do when you die? What on earth is going to happen? Who is going to help us? speak to God who is going to lead us and help us in against all the people around us you see Samuel's sons they have been naughty boys too they had done things that they shouldn't have done and so they weren't really suitable to take the place of Samuel and the people thought we want to be like everybody else we want a king that's what we want, Samuel. We want a king. All the people around us, all the other countries around us, they've got kings. Why don't we have one? That would be great. Then that king can lead us and make sure that we're safe and we're well and that we'll have everything that we need. What do you think Samuel thought about that idea? He was very very sad that really upset him why on earth would you want a king you've got god to lead you he's your king why on earth do you need somebody else and so samuel did what samuel did he went to god and he prayed and do you know what god said to samuel which is even more surprising god said Okay then, if they want a king, let them have a king. They don't want to know me. They've rejected me. Let them have their own king. Samuel couldn't believe what he heard. And he said to the people, this is what God said. And this is what a king would be like. But I can't tell you any more. Otherwise we might spoil it for next week. But the thing that we learn from this little bit is that the people, even though God had held them so many times in the past, and even though they had that stone to remind them, they forgot. And they wanted to do their own thing. They wanted to be like everybody else. Sometimes, but maybe not now when you're doing school or playgroup at home but when you're at school sometimes it can feel a little bit strange right can't it that, that not everybody else is like we are not everybody else goes to church on a Sunday not everybody else listens to adventurers not everybody else tries to follow what the bible says and sometimes we might be tempted to go and say do what they do and want to do the things that they do because we forget how God has helped us in the past. And it was a big mistake that the people of Israel made. And we'll find that out over the next few weeks. We need to learn to trust God. We need to learn to depend on God because he's always there to help us. And we need to have these things in place to remind us how God has helped us in the past and that he will continue to help us in the future. But now we're going to go over to Esther and we're going to find out what craft activity we've got today. So Esther, all yours. Hello, everybody. How are you all? I've had a very, very busy week, so I'm feeling a little bit tired. But today, in our story, the people that were God's people wanted a king, just like the people around them. So I thought that we could make our own crowns. Do you like mine? 
it was made by by my niece just for me which is really nice if i take it off i can show you a little bit more you can make your own designs your own patterns i've got a large or long piece of card here which you can cut and make your own shapes you can do some zigzag shapes or you can do a big pointy one like this and then once you've cut your shape you can start having lots of fun with decorating this one's got lots of sequins on lots of bright colored bits that we can put on or you could use some little glittery glues and wait till they're dry before you put it on your head or you can scrunch up some little tissue paper and make your own crowns. Have fun. Take care. Bye. It'll be exciting to see what kind of crowns that you make. It's really helpful, isn't it, that you're making crowns this week because we're going to need them next week. So please take a picture of the one that you make, send it to us and uh, then get it ready for what we're going to see next week when we follow the story and see what happens when Israel choose or who they choose to be their king. And I've got my crown that, that, that Esther's made for me. Look, I might have to have it from her for a little while. And then we can see what we're going to learn from the Bible then. But this week we're being reminded that it's God that we need to trust in. And our memory verse is this. We trust in the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 20 verse 7. We trust in the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 20 verse 7. Very important to remember that one. Can you say that with me? We trust in the name of the Lord our God. Psalm 20, verse 7. Go on, say that to your mums and dads and let us know. And we'll add a sticker to see whether you get, so you get closer to the puddle. Well, I'm afraid that's all for this week. I trust that you keep safe, you keep well, that you enjoy time at home you enjoy your time learning and we'll see you with your crown next week bye